put a stroll the boardwalk. We'll tell you how your family can join in the fun. Also, there's something people can't see, but right across from us here is an aquarium. I'm going to meet some penguins. Uh oh And then Justine <laughs> Bazin is going to make an unusual entry. And some of your favorite soap stars. You know what they're going to do? They're going to come by. They're going to play a little volleyball. It's going to be a ball. Hi, I'm Jim Palmer for The Money Store. Even if your credit is less than perfect, you can still refinance your first mortgage at today's low fixed rates. That's because The Money Store looks at your total credit picture and won't automatically disqualify you for late payments. At The Money Store, you can apply by phone and there's no application fee. So if you want to refinance at today's low rates, even if your credit isn't perfect, call 1-800-LOAN-YES. The Money Store, where America goes for money. It comes specially equipped with dual airbags, cruise control, air conditioning, four-speaker AM-FM cassette stereo, and power accessories like luxury sedans costing twice the money. The 1994 Nissan Altima GXE. It not only defines what a luxury car should be, it redefines what a luxury car should cost. Lease the Altima for just $750 down and $229 a month for 36 months. In Italy, they don't prepare dinner. They create a masterpiece. Corbo makes the meal. You're watching WNBC for New York. And now, Sue Simmons, Matt Lauer, Al Rooker, and Len Berman. This is News for New York, live at 5. Trouble. <laughs> well, good evening. And, good afternoon. That's right. Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Live at Five. We thought we'd get a little jump on the Memorial Day weekend with a surf and turf edition <laughs> of Live at Five. We're here in Point Pleasant on the boardwalk. It is a beautiful family spot. We're glad you could join us. Actually, we're in the Jenkinson's Pavilion, and there's a lot more than just sun, sand, and turf. That's right. I want you to take a look. Over here along the boardwalk, there are some houses. Now, you can bet the people who live in those houses get a lot of unannounced visitors every time there's a nice day. Hi, we're here. We brought the Kool-Aid. <laughs> also, another Another great attraction around here is the train. It is the boardwalk train. It runs right along the beach here. Kid commuters love this thing. We're going to show you more of that. And then you see the wooden poles that are just on the beach over here. You know what those are, folks? No. Goal posts. No, no, that, no, not goal. Yeah, kick the extra point. No, that is a, a light show. It's a laser light show they hold here at night. Wow. It's spectacular. Of course, the main attraction straight ahead, the cool and inviting Atlantic Ocean. Oh, cute. Uh, and right over there, some beachfront uh, development. Our Live at Five contractors are starting and lay the foundation <laughs> for our very own sand castle that will be done hey. later in the program. The people here are lively, let's just say that. Uh, but first, a big thank you to you, Mr. Roker, for oh, bringing gosh. us this beautiful, beautiful day. Well, had it been a little uglier, I wouldn't have showed up. <laughs> <laughs> that was a crowd that could have easily become a mob. Yeah. <laughs> but they're, they're loving us today. Uh, I'll tell you, the good news is, uh, looks like the Memorial Day weekend is going to be fabulous. We're talking about great weather. On Memorial Day itself, the Delaware Water Gap, 84. Central Park, 80. The Hamptons, 70. 78 up in Bear Mountain, Seaside Heights, 75. Same here at Point Pleasant. And out in the Hamptons, about 70, 73 along the uh, Connecticut shoreline. So it is looking great for Memorial Day. And, of course, we'll have the forecast more in detail a little bit later. It's wonderful because the first two were most we did the weather was kind of well, it got better it's, it's nice on the qe2 yeah, yeah a little yeah, windy though well, yes yeah, yeah, right a little, yeah, a little windy. it's 74 <laughs> degrees right now here it's at uh, point pleasant it's a beautiful day it is yeah. hey you know the crew has been out here all day long setting up we probably have a few sunburns on our hands but they are not the only ones who've been out here as a matter of fact earlier today there were some anglers out doing what anglers do which i guess is fishing a lot of them were retirees who uh told us that this short beats the rocking chair and somebody must have skipped work today because the beaches were thick with the aroma of suntan oil, past the coconut oil. Most of the beachgoers stayed anchored in the sand, road testing their new summer bathing suits. What? But, <laughs> road road testing. but we did see some brave ones, wet or dry. The Jersey Shore is definitely the place to be. I'm looking forward to the summer. Get tan, relax after a hard year of school. Beach, friends, my friends from college, and uh, just hanging out. I always look look forward to it for the summer. I enjoy it better than shoveling snow. Well, we're, okay. Do you, do you have a question? You want to sure, ask? I was going to ask what's next. Oh, well, I got it right here. We're coming to you live from Point Pleasant, a boardwalk just about 60 miles south of New York City. 
And point Pleasant to uh, sits halfway down the Jersey Shore. Thank you, Al. You know, it's tough out here. The wind's blowing, the pages are moving. Just keep you know. reading. Here we go. But anyway, it's surrounded by other resort towns like um, Manasquan, mm -hmm. <laughs> Seagirt, Spring Lake, and Belmar. Now, you know, right about now, a plane was supposed to come by. You know, I think I just heard a plane go by. I'm not sure it actually had a banner on it, though. Did it come by? <laughs> There's a the plane. Where did it come? The plane! The plane! Oh, the plane! Well, as usual, Tattoo, you've blown it. Well, the point was, the plane was supposed to say, Welcome Live at 5 or something. It's, it's coming. coming. Oh, we'll, we'll show you when it's We comes. understand the pilot has stopped for directions <laughs> along the way. He'll there be he here is. very there soon. There in the distance. There it is. You know what? It's not going to get here in time. Let's just do this. Let's just Chuck, or let's just go to Chuck Scarborough up in the studio to find out about today's top news stories. Chuck, take it away. We'll get the plane later. Okay, yeah, I think you tipped it anyway on that. <laughs> we know exactly what's going to happen. Thank you very much. At the top of the news tonight, their bomb took the lives of six innocent people when it went off at the World Trade Center 15 months ago. This afternoon, a federal judge sentenced three of the convicted terrorists. The judge said he expected them to die behind bars. News Force Pablo Guzman is live at the federal courthouse where a fourth defendant is set to be sentenced any time now. Pablo? Chuck, Judge, Kevin Duffy used the lives that would have been given to those six victims and the unborn child in its mother's womb, what they would have lived naturally had the blast not gone off, and he dropped that on the head of the four defendants. Mohammed Salome, 240 years. Nidal Ayad, 240 years. Mahmoud Abu Alima, 240 years. And Ahmad Ajaj, who is still going through a diatribe that's lasted for over two and a half hours up there as he awaits his fate, he too is probably looking at another 240 years. Outside the tightest net of security around the federal courthouse in lower Manhattan short of shutting Foley Square completely. Inside, the sentences from Judge Kevin Duffy to the four Trade Center bombing defendants and the judge pulled no punches. Mohammed Salame, Nidal Ayad, Mahmoud Abu Alima and Ahmad Ajaj receiving as much as 240 years. I think it sends out a message that if you're going to do the crime in New York, you're going to do the time as well. Those killed at the Trade Center blast ranged in age from 61 to 34 years. The age of Monica Smith, who was in her last trimester of pregnancy when the bomb killed her and her baby. She was 34. On behalf of those killed and the over 1,000 injured, Monica Smith's husband, Ed, addressed the court before sentencing. When you lost your wife and an unborn child, I don't think um, you can ever say what those words could be. By contrast, attorneys William Kunstler and Ron Kuby, who will defend alleged associates of the defendants, including Sheikh Omar Abdul Rahman, in a plot to blow up the UN, the government says was connected to the Trade Center bombing, spoke against the whole proceeding. Judge Duffy and the prosecution are in league together to try to break some of these defendants so they can testify at the conspiracy trial and to prevent anyone fighting for them from being near them. Ed Smith was asked about the lack of a death penalty in this case. Uh, all I can say is me and Governor Cuomo differ on that. Referring to the defendants' desires to see themselves as some kind of martyrs, Judge Duffy, Judge Duffy told them, and I quote, what you sought to do in the name of Islam is forbidden by the Quran. Allah, it says, knows the righteous, not you. Reporting live from the Manhattan Federal Courthouse in Lower Manhattan, I'm Pablo Guzman, News 4, New York. Chuck, back to All you. All right, Pablo, thank you very much. A Freeport, Long Island man is under arrest today for the rape of a 14-year-old girl. 24-year-old Jose Castellon is a self-employed house painter. That rape allegedly took place in the young girl's home last weekend. She went to police saying she was frightened. Castellon was picked up today. Also on Long Island, two rookie cops are being hailed as lifesavers today. Officers Christine Cunningham and Bonnie Lauer were only three hours into their very first day when they got a call from a woman who was having a heart attack. She stopped breathing, but some quick thinking saved her life. It was actually pretty incredible. My um, FTO brought the defibrillator machine, I brought the oxygen, and we set up the machine and administered two shocks. And then there was a pulse and she started breathing. It felt really good to help somebody out. Um, I think that the skills from the uh, police academy really came into play. It was, it was natural, it was comfortable for both Bonnie and I. 51-year-old Joyce Crash of Smithtown is in critical condition at St. John's Hospital, but very, very grateful to say the least for what happened today at the hands of those two young rookie police officers. Jennifer Flower says she wants to set the record straight. In Manhattan today, she began selling a two-volume audio tape and a companion book she claims verifies her relationship with President Clinton. Now, according to Flowers, the tapes contain recorded conversations she had with Clinton before he became president. Flowers says she was Clinton's mistress when he was governor of Arkansas, and she claims there has been a massive cover-up. 
I have felt the burning frustration of not being able to do very much about it. I have felt and heard the lies, and I have seen the propaganda. And after a while, I decided that I had to do something. Well, there has been no response from the White House, and we will have more news later in this broadcast for you. Now we're going to switch back to Matt and Sue on the beach at Point Pleasant. That plane come by yet, guys? Uh, it came by, Chuck, and we all missed it, actually. <laughs> it's back over here somewhere. It's going to circle around. I'm sure it'll make another appearance. In the meantime, we had some news uh, being made right here at Point Pleasant this afternoon. The New Jersey Beach Erosion uh, Commission held a major news conference here to release its first report, and the panel made 11 recommendations uh, for combating erosion. One of them is the creation of a Blue Acres Fund to help the state and local governments buy private property that is susceptible to storms. When a home is destroyed and the owner decides not to rebuild, a municipality or a town should have the option of purchasing that property, not only to provide public access, but to provide a natural buffer for themselves in the ocean. We can help preserve the beaches for generations to come. Well, in a few moments, uh, New Jersey reporter Carlos Granda will tell us about the massive project to reclaim the shoreline. It's the biggest restoration project ever attempted, costing over a billion dollars. Jersey Shore beaches will be extended into the sea, the length of a football field, and Carlos will show us how it's being done. We're going to take a break when we come back on this shore edition of Live at Five. We'll try and find out if the water is going to be nice and clean for your Memorial Day weekend. We'll have lab results. Remember the good old days, and let's bring them back. We'll show you how Jersey Shore vacation spots are bouncing back for the 90s. <clears throat> I'm happy with my new Grand Prix. Any lock brakes, two layer bags. Really feel safe. Safe schmafe. Beats me why she only talks safety. I mean, this is a Pontiac. What a terrific buy. It was over a thousand less than the Taurus. And don't let that value stuff fool you. She's a wild woman. This is a Grand Prix. With this V6 engine, it's nice to know the power's there when I need it. Power, yes! That's my mom! To grandma's and step on it! There's so much new at Iona, it's hard to know where to begin. Our new dorm is great. The space for 300 students. We have international programs, too. I earned credits in Ireland. We compete in Division I sports with 20 teams for men and women. Small classes. Most are under 20 students. Academic excellence, nurturing the mind. That's our mission at Iona. The proof is in the people. Coming up at 6, a deadly bacteria that has claimed five lives and is spreading. We'll tell you where and why it's so terrifying and fatal. Plus, one of these cameras catches your speed and the cameras don't lie, right? Check out today's Consumer Report. Coming up at 6. This is the best time of our lives. I do some opera singing and my husband Jim is a violinist. I smell good. Let's have this one. And we both love to eat. For me, Stouffer's tastes like home cooking. Stouffer's macaroni and cheese right here, right here. is as good as my grandmother's. The manicotti has three different kinds of cheese. We eat Stouffer's because it's real good food. The kind I'd cook myself. Mm -hmm. In 30 months with a Honda Del Sol S, you'll only change the oil four times. Well, that's great. You'll only tune it up one time. <laughs> cool. You might wash it 43 and a third times. Well, maybe less. But the best part is, weather permitting, you can take off the roof 912 times. With leadership leasing, a Honda Del Sol S is just $179 a month for just 30 months. Driving a sports car has never been so practical. Hey. Greetings from Point Pleasant, New Jersey! Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back everyone to Live at Five on the Jersey Shore. Point Pleasant has a year-round population of around 6,000 people. But during the summer months, that triples. That's right, triples. 18,000 people cram this small community. You know, weather obviously has a lot to do with this place. For example, um, summer rentals, officials tell us, are up 10% along the Jersey Shore. You remember back in 1992, we had some terrible weather. It was rainy just about every other weekend. That greatly affected the 1993 rental market. And then
then there was the winter of 1993-94. Temperatures were freezing for week after week. That obviously forced a lot of people to say, hey, when the weather gets nice, I'm going, they say, down the shore. Down the shore. And those people have already started <laughs> arriving. Well, over the years, the Jersey Shore has gone through many changes, and now there's a big push to recapture a taste of the good old days. New Jersey reporter Carlos Grande reports. These are the images of the Jersey Shore that Chambers of Commerce like to see. People in the sun, walking on the sand, playing volleyball. Marion Goldsmith has lived here all her life and remembers it used to be like this up and down the Jersey coast. When I was a little girl, my parents brought us down here for weekends, for a week. My children grew up coming down here. This was luxury all summer long. But in the last few years, the shore has been thrashed by Mother Nature. Winter storms slammed the area. Hypodermic needles washed up on shore and scared some people away. Some areas, such as Asbury Park, are bits and pieces of what they once were, fading reminders of the shore's heyday. What happened before will never come back. I'm hoping it doesn't get any worse than it is now. Now there's an effort to jazz up the shore once again and bring in families. Officials want people who will spend not just a day here, but several days or a week. That's how it was years ago. To attract families, some towns such as Seaside Heights are offering free beach admittance on weekdays. Free beach is quite a saving for a family. We need the family trade because they're the ones that go on the boardwalk, go on the rides. The boardwalk is, uh, everything is set up there for half of it is for kids. So if we're without kids and the children, our boardwalk just can't make it. But the biggest long-term project is beach restoration. Artificial reefs like these will soon be dropped into the ocean to slow down beach erosion. And the Army Corps of Engineers will start adding sand along a 40-mile stretch from Seabright South. I think that's going to be an enormous boon to the tourism industry around here that will give us uh, not only huge beaches that will, uh, that will provide a great recreational benefit, uh, but will also provide a, a very much needed source of protection for the, the people in my community. Uh, the best protection against winter storms are big beaches. Carlos Granda, News 4 at the Jersey Shore. You know, it seemed there was a time we didn't have to worry about the water quality on our ocean fronts, but of course that is no longer the time. Officials have already started testing water here on the Jersey Shore. As a matter of fact, weekly samples are taken at 180 spots all along the ocean front and 143 spots in rivers and bays. Last year, the water quality was considered excellent. No beaches in Monmouth and Ocean Counties were closed because of pollution. They say that when rainfall is below normal, less polluted water reaches the ocean, so conversely, more rainfall means lower water clarity. New Jersey officials have set up a beach water quality hotline number. It is 1-800-648-SAND. That's 1-800-648-SAND, and it will be activated this coming Memorial Day weekend. So the question is, Matt, have you ever jet skied? I've tried that down in the Caribbean. It's not, the water's cold up here. I can't imagine anybody would do that. Well, I think somebody might. You think Justine Bateman might try it? We're going to have a Justine Bateman alert. We're going to find out <laughs> if she's going to make a landing when Live at Five continues. She has a whole new look. We'll talk to her about a new movie as well. Uh, but first, here's Moondoggy, Al Roker. Here are you, Al. Hey, Sue, we're down by the beach, and I saw Justine Bateman go by just a couple of minutes ago. We'll tell you what your Memorial Day weekend outlook's going to be. A whole lot more. Whoa! When Live at Five continues. Whoa! Whoa! Your loan was approved. Homeowner, need money fast? Dial PMC. Your loan was approved. Want affordable monthly payments? Dial PMC. Your loan's been approved. Need friendly help and great rates? Dial PMC. Your loan was approved. Want an approval in 48 hours and a two-week closing in an office near you? Call 1-800-D-I-A-L-P-M-C. When introduced, Chrysler Concord was named Automobile of the Year. Now it comes with the lease of the year for only $2.69 a month. With Concord, you get the protection of anti-lock brakes and dual airbags, the comfort of automatic temperature control, eight-way power seats, automatic transmission, and more. And now you get it for only $2.69 a month. Chrysler Concord, an eloquent expression of form following function. Now for only $2.69 a month. Hey, if you're with AT&T, how'd you like a nice bonus? 
just for spending $25 a month on AT&T Long Distance. It's easy. Just one call, and first you get 20% off with AT&T True USA savings. And then a bonus. AT&T True Rewards. Points good for free frequent flyer miles and free AT&T minutes. And only AT&T gives you both. But to get your bonus, you do have to call AT&T. is a full-size nursery. We have over 2,000 different items, at least, in this department. We've got lawnmowers, rakes, wheelbarrows, plants, trees, you name it. You know, if you help the customer, you treat them the way they were supposed to be treated, they're going to be a customer forever. Protect your exterior woods with Bare Natural Seal Plus waterproofing products. They're formulated for seven types of wood to maintain natural color while sealing water out. Available at a guaranteed low price every day at the Home Depot. Nothing better than seeing a smiling face walk out our door. Dear Dave, I got a degree, got a job, got my first paycheck, got a shot. Where's the rest? Luckily, there's a Wendy's nearby. With your 99-cent super value menu, I get lots of choices, even though I'm on a limited budget. My favorites are the 99-cent Junior Cheeseburger Deluxe and Caesar Side Salad. Although sometimes I'll get your great chili instead of the cheeseburger. And when I have a rough day, I treat myself to a Frosty. They say there's no such thing as a free lunch. <laughs> Luckily, this comes close. Any closer, and I'd be out of business. I love this! I love this thing! among them. Legendary actors. Welcome back, everyone, to Live at Five here on the Jersey Shore. You know, Point Pleasant used to be a regular vacation spot for some notable figures, among them the legendary actors Lionel and Ethel Barrymore, circus performer Tom Thumb, author Robert Louis Stevenson, and Mrs. Jesse James, the wife of the famous outlaw. And now Sue is with someone who carries on in that outlaw tradition. Sue? Hey, here we go. Here comes Justine Bateman, Matt. Here she is coming up on a jet ski. Come on here. Let's, we got a little cable here. Can we get up there? No, we can't get up there. Come on, Justine. Come on up here. Yeah. Justine Bateman. Hi, Justine. Hi. Let me go on this side. There you go. I came all the way from Manhattan. I'm pissed. <laughs> she left from Battery Park, right? Whoa. This is getting out of control. This is great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, so you, you were able to visit us here at Point Pleasant, huh? That's right. Who isn't going to die today? You see all these lifeguards out there? Yeah, please? well, these guys are looking pretty good. Isn't that great? So let me ask you this. Was this entrance harder than the one you made at the Academy Awards with that dress you had on? Remember that year? That yeah. I'm in as snug as <laughs> All right. Do you remember that? I do. I yes, I do. Yes, I do. I remember that. I think I've got a videotape of that. But it, I think I'm supposed to do the weather now. Oh, right. Yeah, just for a little bit. Well, I mean, right you guys will get a chance to dry off and chat. And, uh, all right, look at this crew here. I want to get Justine's credit. I want you to get in. What, 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 Hi, Billy. What are you, what, why did you come up? You got you got something going on. I got, yeah. The nights are the 7th, 8th, and 9th. Everybody should watch TBS, A Century of Women. It's great. A Century of Women in what? It's called A Century of Women. Women in, uh, you know, in America. Women in America, but there's some stars in that, too. Oh, fa I mean, I, I don't know who I what couldn't you name. You can't remember, I don't right? know who I couldn't name. You know, like, <laughs> Jessica Lange does voiceovers. Uh, Jane Fonda narrates the whole thing. And then there's a, it's part documentary, part fiction, and, uh, and I'm in the fiction part, and Talia Shire played my mom, Olympia Dukakis played my grandma. I mean, it's like, it's phenomenal. Can I tell you that we have a clip? Oh, so I think we are, see, can you hear me? I think we ought to go to the clip now and show sure. this phenomenon. Okay. Oh, yeah. They may be jealous. I'll remember that when you uh, discover the cure for cancer. Paralysis, maybe. I've decided neurosurgery. Daylene, that's great. My mother doesn't think I can do it. Oh, I don't believe that. She thinks I should go into family medicine. That surgery is too tough for women. <laughs> well, that would be perfect, right? I mean, close areas, very tight work. It's like embroidery. <laughs> MTV and it was like this whole All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. Now, what we, this is like spring break, huh? It's like I once did a thing for MTV for spring break, and I had no voice because everybody was screaming. I had no voice after two days. All right, well, you know, I figured out a way to get the crowd to go that way while I do the weather. If you, Justine, would we'll go that way with all these lifeguards. All right, 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 all right
Like that escort. Where, where right. can I go? Wow, it's just like Baywatch, only a little chillier. Huh? Let's take a look, show you what's going on outside right now. Our temperature right now, uh, currently we've got 77 degrees sunny skies at Central Park, 74 here at Point Pleasant. Southeasterly winds at 8, 47% the relative humidity. Our barometer, 2981, it's falling. High for the day, 83, the low 61. There's your sunrise and sunset. Check out the satellite picture. Here's what you got. We're looking satellite, and we do have a warm front working its way up toward us. So that's going to bring some showers and some thunderstorms moving in. Uh, it's going to be a little on the wet side over the next uh, day or two, but all in all, not too bad. Take a look at your travel weather. You can see the wet weather moves into the northeast. Hey, look, we're at the plane. Live at 5 at the Jersey Shore. Very nice. I like it. Anyway, as we take a look at the forecast for you, here we go. For tonight, partly cloudy. Showers in uh, north and west of the city. Temperatures 50s and 60s, 60s by the coast. Tomorrow morning, some morning clouds, then partly sunny, becoming variably cloudy by the afternoon with some thunderstorms. Lows will be in the mid-80s, but cooler by the shore. And uh, if you're going to the Yankee game, of course, tonight, we told you, uh, temperatures are going to be nice. It's going to be beautiful. Marine forecast for you. Southwesterly winds 15 to 20 knots, 3 to 5 foot waves on the ocean, 2 to 3 feet uh, in, in the Long Island Sound area. All in all, things looking pretty good. When we come back, we will have the all-important five-day forecast, which will include the Memorial Day weekend. We also remind viewers that uh, Justine uh, will be back a little later for our celebrity volleyball match. Ooh, Ooh right. you're, right. you're refereeing, right? I'm doing something out here. I don't, I don't <laughs> know what it is, but let's throw it back to Matt, who's a sane person. All right. Sue, Al, thanks very much. Justine, thank you as well. You know, families first started coming down here to Point Pleasant a long time ago when farmers in the area began renting out their guest houses. Since that time, people have been having a great time, but there have also been concerns when people bring children down here that they are safe at the beach. When we come back, some safety tips that could save your child's life. When Live at Five on Dub Beach continues. Probe GT has been called the most cost-effective rocket coupe. The best value in the hot sports coupe class. And the affordable master of multifunctional fun. Ford Probe GT, the most award-winning sports coupe in its class, is now even more affordable. With 2.9% APR or special low lease terms, Ford Probe, an affordable front-wheel drive sports coupe. What a concept. It's the one makeup you want as your constant companion. From Lancome Paris, dual finish. In one makeup, foundation's flawless coverage, powder's lightweight feel, portable perfection in your ideal shade, dual finish versatile powder makeup. It's beauty. It's simplicity. Lancome Paris, Beauté de Jardin. Your free gift with any 1750 Lancome purchase. Now at A&S. In a world where things always seem to give out, Ta -da. give up or give way, it's nice to know you can count on some things to go on and on and on. DSENG, the power is in your hands. Coming up on News for New York at 6. Good evening, I'm Carol Jenkins, and coming up at 6, it sounds like something out of the movies. A deadly new strain of a common bacteria. It attacks human flesh. It is struck and killed in England. At 6, we talk to doctors here about the threat. Plus, meet a New Jersey student who is fighting mad. He claims he lost a chance to go to West Point, all because he trusted a politician. And the woman who sold us Castro Convertibles makes a big career change. And can the camera be wrong? Asa takes on the DMV when one driver says she was framed when Chuck and I see you at 6. If you think a vacation in Connecticut doesn't offer a lot to do, you really haven't looked inside. <laughs> Call for your free Connecticut vacation guide. Call 1-800-CT-BOUND for information and reservations. Ignition. Check. Tachometer. Check. Any 
anti-lock brakes? Check. Air conditioning? Check. Dual airbags? Check. Check. Cruise control? Check. Power sunroof? Check. Seven speaker stereo? Check, 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 check. The Prelude VTEC from Honda. Check it out. Under the boardwalk. nautical history of the Jersey Shore, another historical spot, is the Sea Girt Lighthouse. Uh, this lighthouse is still being used for navigation. It was first turned on in 1896. That's a while ago. But with the introduction of radar and radio fog systems, the lighthouse became somewhat obsolete. The Sea Girt was uh, decommissioned in 1945, but because of its prominence, uh, the lighthouse was restored about a decade ago and put back into use. And according to town officials, the lighthouse is visible for 15 miles at sea. Point Pleasant actually uh, went bankrupt during the Great Depression and sold its beachfront back to private investors. They are at the mercy of the weather, as we all know, uh, to help them make a buck. New Jersey's reporter Ben Farnsworth tells us how they're doing. They should be doing pretty well at this point, Ben? They're doing great, Sue. Just three days, of course, before the unofficial start of summer. There's kind of a feeling here, a very thin line between anticipation and apprehension. Anticipation, of course, because of the bounty the sea is going to bring to all these shore businesses, and apprehension because they're wondering if this year will be as good as last year. Well, we sampled some people who live, work, and play here in Point Pleasant to give you a look at life on the shore. The summer of 1994 is open for business. On the boardwalk, they're watching and waiting for the cars and the crowds and the commerce. Carl Koleski is taking his first food orders of the summer. At his charbroil on the boardwalk at Point Pleasant Beach, he'll burn six to seven hundred bags of this stuff between now and Labor Day if the weather cooperates. You get the weather, the people come down. They come down in droves. Last year was one of Carl's best seasons ever. 13 of the 16 weekends were sunny. To any business person on the beach, the forecast is the most important piece of information. We need weather. We have good weather, we have a good sun. Jerry Sheehan will tell you that the shore had its storms last summer. Most of them, like Emily, which just missed New Jersey, came during the middle of the week. Jerry is a Seagirt lifeguard home from college. He's opening the family home. He remembers how the storms whipped up the surf. There's a lot of uh, riptides and currents, and a lot of people, you know, went in, and you end up having to pull a ton of people out. The shore economy has been resuscitated, too. Shore realtors say families will fill rental homes, up 10 to 15 percent this year. Ed Fatal of Wayne owns a home here in Point Pleasant Beach. He and his wife, Joan, say their place is a magnet for family and friends. Well, I feel like I'm nine years old again. It's uh, just a, a nice environment. It just takes all the pressures away from you. When we're through now, we're going to take a nice walk on the boardwalk, work up a nice uh, appetite, and go have something to eat. At the other end of the boardwalk, there are those waiting for the summer to serve up some fun. Do a lot of fishing, <laughs> a lot of golfing, play some softball. Damn. Say hi to the girls. Yeah. To feed those who want to be near the water, there are those who work on it. Point Pleasant's fishing industry must compete with bigger boats for the catch off the New Jersey shore. Lobsterman Red Stillifson goes farther out to sea to increase his catch. Next week we'll be jumping out to the Hudson Canyon, which is around 80 miles from here, and uh, it'll be a two-night or three-night trip for us, and uh, we'll be pretty far out. Red keeps his business above water by selling lobsters direct to the public and cooking them in his restaurant, and he has a delicacy that is much in demand. You can get things with lobsters you can't buy with money. <laughs> and isn't that the truth? And down here, it doesn't take much money to buy these lobster off the boat, about $4 a pound. And by the way, if you're in other parts of the state, of course, there are um, lobster harbors in uh, Belford, uh, Shark River, down in uh, Cape May as well. It's a booming industry here on the shore, and particularly during the summer, people just love that delicacy. And for other businesses, this coming weekend is probably the most important of the year for them. In some cases, it means as much as 5% of these people's annual business. Matt? <laughs> Did it go to Matt or... Let me know. You know, right? <laughs> All right, Sue, thank you very much. You know, when you come down to the beach, you can never really relax, especially if you're a parent with kids in tow, because while you're building sandcastles, you also have to worry about the children near the water. Well, Lieutenant Lifeguard Dean Albanese is here to give us some safety tips for the summer. Good to see you. Uh, how are you doing? What's the first thing we should remember? 
First thing you do is to let your kids find a landmark when they're going to the ocean. If you let them go into the ocean right in front of a blanket, a current may take them, take them down north or south, whichever may it be, and they're going to come back up on the, on the shore. They're not going to know what a blanket is. So kids get lost at the beach. It's a very common occurrence. We have at least 10 a day. All right. Also, when you're in the in the water, lay up, say up to your waist with a child, you never know what the waves are going to do. Now, waves come in sets. A set will flatten out for a while, maybe 5, 10 minutes, and then you'll just get this a set come out of anywhere, which is a, a group of waves. And, a, and a, a parent or a guardian will not realize that, you know, that a set's coming a, upon them, and they'll just get hit. Knock them right down. Knock them right down, and a baby or kid will go flying and... That's where we come into. We have a nice day here. I mean, it's like 80 degrees or 75 degrees. There's a breeze. Not a lot of heat stroke going on a day like today. But you have to watch for that during the summer months also. Yeah, you should give uh, everyone plenty to drink. And if, if they feel a little uh, you know, sluggish or something, get them out of the heat. Get, uh, get them some, something to drink. And it, with the heat exhaustion, first thing, you'll be able to tell the pupils will be dilated. They'll have a cold sweat. And you don't want to start putting... Uh, like real cold rags on them. You want to put like damp, moist rags that aren't too cold to prevent shock. And just be real careful about it. Right. We saw Justine Bateman coming in on the jet ski a second ago. I don't want to mention the negatives here. Are there jellyfish out there? Not at this moment, but there are jellyfish. We call it a red tide. And if you do get a jellyfish thing, rub sand on. It's a little tidbit that you know works, helps takes this thing right away from it. Doesn't it also help to alleviate the pain if you scream real loud? Oh, <laughs> anytime you do that, it helps. Oh, it's killing me! Good to see you. Nice. Hey, have nice. a safe right. summer, all right? All right. Sue, back to you. Oh, I got jellyfish all around me. I <laughs> just had to say that because I wanted to feel better. So what happens if you come all the way out here and it rains? We have that covered, too. In just a minute, Matt's going to jog up to the aquarium for a live visit with some adorable penguins. <clears throat> I'd like to be under the sea in an octopus's garden. In the shade. Seattle, average rainfall, 39 inches. Phoenix, average high, 103 degrees. Minneapolis, average low, 7. Every year, Anderson windows and patio doors stand up to the harshest sun, the coldest wind, the hardest rain. So much for the law of averages. I've been shopping at ShopRite for over 30 years. I always save at ShopRite. There are four or five different ways of saving by shopping at ShopRite. ShopRite and always save on everything you need for summer. Like this resin chaise lounge for just $38. Plus these resin stack chairs for a low $4.99. And for your convenience, participating ShopRites accept these cards. Look at Dixie now. New mix and match designs let your own personality shine through. Express your mood. Express your style. Dixie makes every day new. May Madness, May Madness at your Dodge dealer with Claremont deals on every Dodge in stock. Like Dodge Caravan, America's best-selling minivan. Lease Caravan for just $1.99 a month. $1.99 a month for dual airbags, air conditioning, and more. Plus, during May Madness, you can get immediate financing, too. So hurry to your Dodge dealer now before your $1.99 May Madness lease on Caravan gets away. developments in the World Trade Center um, bombing and its sentencing. So let's now go back to Chuck Scarborough with more news. Chuck? All right, Sue, thank you very much. Indeed, we've just gotten late word from the federal courthouse of Foley Square. The fourth defendant in the World Trade Center bombing has just been sentenced. The judge gave Ahmad Ajaj 240 years behind bars. That is exactly the same sentence given the three other defendants today. 
All four were convicted of plotting that bomb attack that killed six people and injure more than a thousand others. Again, the last of the four defendants received 240 years, the same as the other three. And now back to Matt and Sue at the Jersey Shore. All right, Chuck, thank you. The moment that we've been waiting for, not necessarily Matt Lauer, but the, the adorable, adorable penguin he's with, Matt. Second, what's so bad about me, Sue? Oh, you're a lovey, lovey oh, dog. Oh, I don't think she's that nasty, Sue. <laughs> anyway, we are here. The Jenkinson family main name has meant boardwalk attractions and fun for most of the century. Their newest venture is the Jenkinson Aquarium. It's just alongside of us here. And one of the big attractions there are penguins. This is Cindy Smith. She is here with one of the penguins. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. Who is this is LP. She's a penguin we received from the Steinhardt Aquarium in uh, San Francisco, California. Now, now, I don't normally associate penguins with uh, this type of temperature. How do they do in this weather? Oh, they do fine. These are African black-footed penguins, and they are typically found in the um, coast of South Africa. So it's a um, temperature that's very similar to the temperature around here. Now, this one over here, I don't want to say she looks a little gamey, but she looks a little weird. What's the matter with her? What's she doing? Well, she's a chick, and she's molting right now, which means that she's losing her baby down and we'll have the feathers growing in underneath and, uh, can i touch her sure hey hi oh she is so cute what other uh types of animals and things do you have in fish in the aquarium we have sharks um out american alligators <laughs> harbor seals um coral reef fish local fish a um, a big variety of fish in general and how long have you been here three years so this is not just a summer job for you no full time well thanks for bringing them out we really appreciate it you're welcome Thanks Ooh. for coming. Does it smell like fish in here, or is it just me? Sue, back to you. <laughs> All right, Matt. You know, I think it might actually be Matt. Pardon? But he said it smelled like fish. <laughs> oh, now that's oh, not... Oh, we're just you... joking. Oh, I know we're just joking. See, we, we like to make fun of Matt as opposed to the penguins. <laughs> the sound of the penguins I'm tempted to imitate. But you don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that because a news director asked me to be dignified okay. today. You're, you're not the life of the party. You're the host. All right. Okay. All right. Shall I read this here? Yes, please. All right. Dig your toes into the sand, the sand and stay put. We've got sunshine and soap opera stars. Two of your favorites from The Young and the Restless are here, and they're going to do something on our show that you've never seen before. They're going to play volleyball. Now, here's Al. <laughs> hey, you know, we are talking about the Memorial Day weekend. We have great news for you with the five-day forecast ahead. Of course, you talk about some hot spots. Len Berman right now is at the Garden. Well, thanks a lot. Unfortunately, I'm indoors today. Wish I could be with you, but here at the Garden tonight, it's the Knicks and the Pacers game number one. We will hear from both teams as they get ready to begin this Eastern Conference Final. And will the Rangers play here in this building again this year? It's coming up next on Live at Five. Introducing the Ford Windstar. The minivan of the future is here today. With dual airbags, front end crush zone, side impact door beams, and four-wheel anti-lock brakes. Plus, the Windstar has room for seven, a lower step in height, and free 24-hour roadside assistance. With Windstar, other minivans are ancient history. See the new Windstar at your Ford dealer. Okay, boys, beam me up and see for yourself. I've always wanted to do that. Mother Nature sets up the shop. Oh, she got all of that one. True Test paint is made to withstand the worst weather. There's another fine play. Including golf ball-sized hail. She can do no wrong. Remember, when it comes to the weather, Mother Nature never yells for. Get True Test Weatherall paint for just $11.98. True value. Help is just around the corner. Tonight, an event that will uncover mankind's greatest mystery. There's no doubt in my mind it was an angel. Angels, people who say they've seen them, been saved by them, become them. This is for real. Miraculous stories that will make you believe we are not alone. Angels could save our lives. Patty Duke hosts The Mystery of Angels, NBC 8, 7 Central tonight. Alien abductions. Sounds ridiculous, but could this Harvard professor and these abductees make a believer out of you? Jane Pauley, Stone Phillips, an all-new Dateline tonight. We happen to believe that the Massachusetts landscape is the most beautiful in the country. Of course, we welcome your outside opinion. Look for your free Massachusetts getaway guide at all participating CVS locations. Huh? Huh? 
In a world where things always seem to give out, give up or give way, it's nice to know you can count on some things to go on and on and on. PSENG, the power is in your hands. It's summertime, summertime, sun, sun, summertime, 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 And it certainly feels like that out there today. It sure does. Out there, out here. Out here, we're out here. And in fact, the weekend, the Memorial Day weekend, really is looking good. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? I think I'm going to be uh, working and doing weekend today uh, and uh, just hanging out. Maybe do a little barbecue. Usually the barbecue is the I'm answer. I'm going to be firing up the barbecue. Okay. I think so. Small farm animals, stay away because you'll end up on the grill. Let's take a look. Bit. Show you. No, no tidbit today. Let's take a look. Uh, tonight, some showers moving into the north and west. Mid-50s there. Low 60s to mid-60s everywhere else. And our five-day forecast and thunderstorms by tomorrow afternoon. Otherwise, very cloudy, 83. More of the same on Thursday, 76. Friday, 78 degrees and... and uh, uh, we're looking for and then we're looking for uh, 74 on Saturday and sunshine Sunday partly sunny and a temperature of 79 degrees that's looking good Memorial Day look at that gorgeous partly sunny no don't do it yet partly sunny and uh, temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s now do it show them what you got here check this out check, take a look Here's at Sue here. quality take a look at that that is nice <laughs> hey, you. now you're talking <laughs> You know, we didn't have to save that for the viewers. I think we did. <laughs> they could have done without that. A little anticlimactic, maybe, but that's all right. We had fun with it. Good moment at the time. Right. Hey, uh, Al, you going to the uh, Nick game tonight? I uh, don't have tickets. I guess I'll oh, be watching. You're going, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. I too. finally begged and begged yeah. and got them. Yeah. Got the tickets. Nick's playing a big one tonight. Len Berman's going to have sports on Live at 5, live from the Garden, when we continue. Stay with us. <laughs> Let's talk smart. Let's talk Eagle Vision. V6, power windows and locks, air conditioning and automatic transmission. Let's talk safety. Let's talk lease. We're talking $229 a month. Hey, stop talking and go test drive a new Vision ESI. It's the least we can do for you. Victoria's Secret creates second skin satin. The revolutionary fabric that sculpts your every curve with sensuality. Second skin satin. An exclusive bra and panty collection. Second skin satin. Only at Victoria's Secret. Now get a free bra or panty with your purchase from the second skin satin collection. On News for New York at 6. Well, coming up at 6, it sounds a lot like fiction, a mystery illness, a bacterium that consumes flesh. It is deadly, and it's spreading in England. At 6, we'll tell you what doctors here are saying about this frightening development. And sentencing in the nation's worst terror bombing. But are the anger and pain gone? You'll hear from survivors of the World Trade Center disaster. And the DMV is watching you. Video cameras getting the goods on bad drivers. And one woman says she was framed. Asa clears up the picture when Carol and I see you at 6. As a proud supporter of the World Cup, Budweiser encourages everyone to put their best foot forward. If you're a soccer fan, just do what your heroes do. Use your head. Know when to say when. A reminder from Budweiser, official beer of the 1994 World Cup. Pat Riley, you can drive any car you want. So why stand behind the full line of Mercury's? <laughs> you want me to stand in front? Now, lease Mercury Sable for only $2.99 a month with $7.20 down. Complete with dual airbags, V6 power, front wheel drive, and more. Get two years of the one and only Mercury Sable for only $2.99 a month. So you want me to be up front? Okay, I will. At your Lincoln Mercury dealer, everybody wins. When the sun beats down and burns the tar up on the roof. 
up on the boardwalk. Did you see that last commercial? You know who was in that? Pat Riley. Yeah. You yeah. know what he does? He's the coach of the Knicks. Yeah, where are you going tonight? I'm going to Madison Square Garden. See the Knicks? All the, the hip Knicks people are going to be Indiana there. Indiana Pacers. I don't have any tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any tickets. Knicks do play a big game tonight against Indiana. Game one of their best of seven series. Len Berman is live now at Madison Square Garden with a preview. Len? That's right, and the pregame workouts are going on right now from the Nick City Dancers. Basketball players not here yet. Game number one Eastern Conference Finals. Knicks and Pacers coming up at 8 o'clock tonight during the regular season. The Knicks had their number. They played four times during the regular year and the Knicks won all four. But you don't expect the coach to announce that that'll carry over. I think you could throw out uh, anything that happened in the regular season. You know, I, I, I do think we have to understand that, that maybe some of our players might think that winning four straight against them is going to mean something, but they just have to look at what happened with New Jersey. When the Knicks knocked off the Bulls on Sunday, Knicks fans acted as if they'd won the title. Knicks players are hoping for some of that enthusiasm tonight. Uh, I'm hoping that the fans are going to come and give us the same kind of lift that they gave us during the Chicago series. I think we're going to need that because um, they're going to come in here and be, be fresh as a basketball team because they've had the rest period, and I think they're going to get after us. New York, we feel, is the best team in the NBA. I don't think that's uh, wrong on my part to say we want to face the best team. Everyone wants to go against the best team just to see how you measure up. Everyone's going to be watching Reggie Miller tonight to see what his reaction is with John Starks after their headbutt incident a year ago. Indiana is the hottest team in the playoffs right now. Do not look for a Knicks cakewalk in the series. Hockey. Will the Rangers play another game in this building this season? Last night here on Garden Ice, Bernie Nichols of the Devils with a pair of goals. His second put it out of reach. The Devils winning it 4-1. to one. If the Rangers don't win tomorrow night in the Meadowlands, it will then be 54 years without a Stanley Cup. I didn't think it was the biggest game of the year. You know, it's obviously just as important as any of them, but... Uh, the next game is just as important as this game. There's no doubt about it. You know, it's a seven-game series. We, uh, you know, we're down 3-2. No big deal. All right, so that's the story. The hockey continues tomorrow. The basketball tonight and Thursday. Busy week, and we'll have a lot more coming up at 6 o'clock. But right now, let's go back to the beach. You know, out, thank you, Len. You know, out here at Point Pleasant, we've mentioned everything. What is but that? The, it's, isn't cotton candy? I mean, what is that? Aren't you a country boy? It's like a hairdo <laughs> from times gone by. Dolly Parton! Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, for all the sunshine and fresh air, I am craving for a volleyball game. We're going to do that in a few minutes. We're also going to meet uh, two of the stars of The Young and the Restless, Heather Tom and Eddie Peck. But before we do that, we have to tease Tom Brokaw. Tom Brokaw is standing by. He was in Los Angeles yesterday. Today he's in Mexico with Look Ahead, What's on Nightly News. Tom? Well, thank you, Sue. Actually, I'm just on this side of the Mexican border. We're going to be talking tonight about what is going on just across that border economically and politically. It is vitally important to the interest of the United States, especially to the Southwest. We'll be talking about that and all the rest of the day's news when we come back from here at 6.30. It's pleasant here, but not nearly as pleasant as I'm sure it is where you are. And I can't get to the next game tonight, so Sue, you take that courtside seat if you'd like. Have some cotton candy, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thank you. And uh, I guess this is what we, we'll be back in a moment We're with take uh, a volleyball break. and uh, soap starts. I'm Stay with us. So, did you hear about the big AT&T deal? Well, if you spend $25 a month on AT&T Long Distance, you can get AT&T True USA savings. 20% off your calls to anyone, anywhere in the USA. And if that wasn't big enough, AT&T True Rewards, with points good for free frequent flyer miles and free AT&T minutes. You won't get this big deal from MCI or Sprint, but to get it, you gotta call AT&T. Take the weight off your hair so it can really move, really shine with new Flex Light and Free. A new shampoo that's light and free of the residue that can weigh down your hair. Hide it shine. New Flex Light and Free. No heavy detergents that can strip your hair. No dulling hair flattening residue. Unique new formula. Fresh new scent. New, incredibly new Flex Light and Free from Revlon. Coming up at 6, a deadly bacteria that has claimed five lives and is spreading. We'll tell you where and why it's so terrifying and fatal. Plus, 
one of these cameras catches you speeding, the cameras don't lie, right? Check out today's Consumer Report. Coming up at 6. It started with an idea. An idea that has now won the prestigious Thomas Edison Patent Award, which annually recognizes major innovations in technology. The award was won by Exxon for a gasoline additive that removes deposits for a cleaner engine, reduces emissions for cleaner air, and improves performance. Next time you fill up, rely on the award-winning gasolines from Exxon. Its airbank system helps to protect all three front seat passengers because as time goes by, Cadillac continues to make the Deville a safer haven for you and your family. They've made it a safer investment as well. For just $3.99 a month, you can lease the all-new Deville for 24 months with 2400 down. But act now, as time goes by very quickly on this special offer. Cadillac Deville, creating a higher standard. Thank you. We're going to get up there by 8. <laughs> the stars of the daytime drama, The Young and the Restless, have done shows on location in Hawaii, Bermuda, and now the best spot of all, Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Uh, yes, warming up for a round of celebrity volleyball is actress Heather Tom, who played Victoria Newman on The Young and the Restless, and, and, and Jay Eddie Peck. I started to call you Eddie Peck, and that would be a big mistake. Better known as Cole Howard. We welcome you to Live at Five at Point yeah. Pleasant. You, the Young and the Restless is pretty hot now. It's happening. <laughs> Why, at this point, do you think it is so hot? Um, well, I think we're steaming up the storylines for the summer, and just like we always do, and, and uh, I think we got a lot of great characters on the show right now, yeah. and a lot of fun stuff coming up. On also, our... YNR has been the number one show for about six seven, years, six, 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 seven. Six, uh, six and a half years, I think it is. Feel, as an NBC person, we don't want to admit that, you see, but, yeah. but we're letting you do that. <laughs> NBC has some great shows. But I understand the storyline for you two has been quite interesting. You were, you were in love, and then you thought maybe you shouldn't be because? Because we might have been related. <laughs> Which is not good. Which that would be, that would be that. That very not good. <laughs> not good at all. Yeah. But now you, you you know that maybe you're not, so what's gonna happen? We are married. We found, we found, we dug married. up Cole's yeah. mother, right? Yeah, we do, they dug and up my mother and uh, my, <laughs> my supposed just... father, Victor Newman, had did a he did a uh, a blood test from tissue samples and it's determined that she was not actually where he was not actually the father so. you know this is serious so again yeah. it's, it's confusing <laughs> this is serious stuff. It's no, no but it's the kind of thing that can go on and on and on i think they're yeah. calling for you to play are you in shape to play are you in an outfit uh, actually, to play? No, I'm not yeah, in shape to play because I blew out my knee on Saturday jumping a wall. So we can see you fall. Yeah. yeah. Come on. All right. Join the game. Join the game. Thank you, guys. They, did, they wouldn't allow me. They said I wasn't dignified enough. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> hey! Whoa! You know me, you can't play with a beach ball. All right, here. Yes. All right, very nice. All right, here we go. Uh, come on, side in. There you go. Nice setup. Oh! I think we We've need a couple of lifeguards in there to help out. Come on, let's get a couple of lifeguards in. Go ahead. Let's see. Lifeguards, and we got our sub stars on the other side here. Hey! Wow! Very nice, Matt. Oh, nice setup, Matt. Yes. Very nice. Oh, nice, Yeah, right. Very nice. All right. Okay, here we go. There you go. Matt, out of bounds. Oh, but they kept it in play. Very nice. We have trouble with the net. Oh, and the crowd gets into it. Very nice. Heads up. Good shot. Very nice. Oh, 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 the ball's out of play. Oh, dear. We need the ball back. There you go. Woo! Matt Dillon. This Lauer came to play, ladies and gentlemen. Lauer came to play. <laughs> it's over. Bateman sets up to Lauer. Lauer. Oh! Is, is Al doing play yeah. by play? The wind is impossible. What, what time net? is it anyway? Is it time to go? And Justine makes no effort. <laughs> no effort, Statesman. No effort. <laughs> I can move that? over here. I don't know what's going on. How much? Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been having a wonderful time here at Point Pleasant, New Jersey. The volleyball game will go on. It's a... 
<laughs> you know, on that note, I think we might want to say goodnight. Let them play volleyball and let me go to the hospital. Thank you so much for watching, and good night. Talking Carol. <laughs> You're watching WNBC for New York. And now, Chuck Scarborough, Carol Jenkins, Al Roker, and Len Berman. This is News for New York at 6. Good evening. The men who blew up the World Trade Center will stay in jail for the rest of their lives. Indeed they will. The judge made sure of that today when he... Stop, stop.